my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. This month is all about Preptober. I'm so excited. I'll be bringing y'all a couple of tips videos and then maybe an author tube tag video that's about my project and kind of what I'm going to be working on. Um, but for this one is how to win nano as a full-time parent, worker, etc. because it's really hard to get words in when you're constantly having to do something else. You know what I mean? So for NaNoWriMo, the goal is to write 50,000 words that breaks down to 16, 67, um, <laughs> 1,667 words a day. So and really you need to figure out how many days of that month you can write. I don't typically write on weekends unless like I have time and I'm just um, like in the, in the zone. Maybe that's prime time for you and you can only do weekends, um, whatever's going to fit your schedule. So with that, of course, is the like, when do you have time in your day? Can you get up earlier to write? Can you stay up later to write? Can you write during your lunch break? Can you write in the carpool line? Can you write, etc., etc. Um, if you have like a tablet to write on your phone, you can do where you talk to your phone and it records it. Just figure out that time. And then I would also suggest figuring out your typing speed. And this is going to depend on um, how well you know your story, how well the words are flowing. I know that I can typically do at least 2,000K, <laughs> yes, 2,000K, 2,000 words in one hour as long as the words are flowing. So if you're the type of person who loves sprints and you can do 20 minute sprints three times in a row for that hour, if you just need to push through the whole hour, I would suggest um, 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes every day, if not an hour, if you're gonna block off like weekends or whatever days like I am to help you get those words. If you're a slower writer, you might need more time or to break up your day so that you can get those words in throughout the day. I know lots of parents who will write while their kid is in the bathtub or they're doing their independent playing time or their quiet time, their nap time. I know I can read and brainstorm if my child is watching a show or a movie or something. Um, I do want to be intentional with my time with him, so I want to be present with him, um, but sometimes he doesn't need me at all. <laughs> so those are good times. Um, it is distracting though if you're have a brain like mine where I can't keep being pulled to something else like I'd rather just close it down and work on it later but if I have like snippets of ideas I will put that in my phone app there are a lot of tools you could use as well um, the notion and Trello are apps that are on your phone as well as the note app and whatever other apps y'all might know of and then I know people use I use Google Docs that helps me because um, it's right there and then there's Word, Scrivener and all of that which to me relies more on being on your computer so um, that's another thing like are you going to be on your phone, tablet, computer, how portable can you be and also really give yourself some grace. Yes this is a fun challenge it's meant to be fun, not stressful. <laughs> um, if you don't make that 50,000 word count goal because you're a full-time parent, worker, etc., that's okay. NaNoWriMo picked the worst month practically with all the holidays and family time and um, like daylight switching, like all the things. So um, like do not worry if you can't make that. There's a thing called... Um, uh, I don't even remember if it's December. Uh, anyway, they keep going in December, and it's like, finish your draft, December. Um, and so some people stretch it out into two months to do that challenge. And honestly, any progress is good progress because a lot of people are now nano rebels where they are revising. They're working on like 30K. They're working on like 10 chapters. Um, nano has kind of morphed into a camp nano in my brain where it's just kind of like, do your best, work on a project, and make progress. That's basically it. So while you're prepping this month for NaNo to be able to write fast, to know where your story is going, um, the best thing for you during Preptober is going to be to kind of outline. If you're not an outliner, I would just really suggest bullet points, unless you can keep it all in your head, but bullet points for what's happening, where to go next. Um, write out some writing prompts for yourself. And that way, if you ever get stuck, you can be like, okay, so-and-so gets a phone call about whatever, or she finds whatever. 
and just like keep the ball rolling that way your first draft's gonna be messy really don't worry about if it makes a ton of sense unless you're like a perfectionist like that <laughs> um the goal is to write the words but i mean sometimes you also want them to be good words so i understand but if you lay that foundation in preptober it's really going to help you in november so you're not scrambling struggling um, staring at a blank page. You need to set yourself up for success in Preptober to do well during NaNoWriMo, especially as a busy parent, worker, etc. I have won all of my previous NaNos. I usually finish first drafts. Um, I typically win a lot of my camp NaNos as well, and yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I've done it before. Let me know if y'all have any questions down below on how I do it. Um, I do do some stretches where it's like two to three hours, so I get like 5k a day sometimes, and that's really nice to put me ahead of the game. Sometimes I've finished in a half a month, which is pretty nice, because <laughs> um, then I can reread it and add to it and revise it kind of within the same NaNoWriMo, and um, yeah, I love hitting those badges. I'm like totally goal oriented, so I just want to hit those badges that Nano gives you, and that's like writing every day, hitting the word count, doing the things, and so if that's you too, maybe that'll help you get motivated, but be sure to watch the video after this one. It's going to be my not so typical NaNoWriMo tips, and so it's going to be kind of like a where to start, especially if you're not an outliner and you really don't want to outline. Um, it's going to be stuff to get your brain, your gears turning so that you know where your story is going, you know what you're writing if you're not sure of what your project is yet. Um, so I encourage you to watch that. I'm going to try to have 10 tips on there and kind of walk through those. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful and kudos for being a full-time parent, worker, etc. and still trying to write on the side. Like, I feel you guys. And even beyond writing, if you're trying to query, um, like, sell a book, whatever, like, it's hard work. Being an author is hard work. Having a platform, trying to get published, all of that is a total, I feel like, full-time job in itself. Um, so, again, give yourself lots of grace and just have fun this NaNo. If you're not my friend on NaNo and want to be, um, I'll drop my name down below so you can friend me. But, yeah, let's just have a really great month, write some words, and make some progress. So that's what it's all about. Alright guys, be sure to catch the next video and happy Preptober! Bye!